ndeba ye kene ni mono ozo no bo se nketa ta asiri mono ko dre na ina mma asim na ya de gechi gechi ada agu agu ige sine so la ya bo ibo media bo eba isi wene hotel nu ya bo ngara bo sia din ku mpa ai ai sika ego si uno basta ma ki yene me na ibo community and oboda no wine on email eh di ko si di obun anka bu mbo si si ina ejite channel ai bo ibo media ba mbo linne ke subscribe and share ya ko metu ko rutendo ozo ko rutendo ozo aka eh maka na information ai na enyu nu bu yu nu ga ma basta ma ki yene me no boda anu ko nu mara ko nu si akwado na ya bi fe bu ya ka si ka i drop ko nu before i go see ni ya juma ki awe bia i ge se ya bi fe juma ki awe bia i drop ora ya lo gi i feature basta ma ka ya bi fe ni ni re ku ni ro akuko alright over to you sir we don't condemn your own nation me yoruba man and our father will say no matter how slippery the bottom of your child leave the bead there this is your country don't condemn it in sermons all right that's the president volatimbo speaking about nigerians speaking well of their nation chief george let me allow I allow you to respond or speak about what's your reaction to the position of the president um you know let me thank you for inviting me today today is a very special day in the christian world and you know today was that day that uh, our lord jesus christ was crucified and uh, because he died to carry away our sins and the beauty of it is that in three days time he will resurrect and so we we've been all fasting in the last 40 days and so we must be honest with ourselves we must be clear in our minds there is an adage in my part of the world that if heavens will fall who would escape of course uh, again there is also this adage that um, agbara tiba adura nongba in other words prayers are very important to the life of any nation or any individual homes and um, so if he is now talking to the people yeah we must all be very prayerful. It is important. Uh, let us be prayerful. And the people who have been elected to manage the resources of the land for the benefit of the people, they themselves must reflect the, the, the goodness of the Almighty God. Because Ruhari, and I hope that is really deep-rooted in his mind, appealing to our people that let us be prayerful. Don't dishonor your nation. Don't talk bad about this. Don't bring evil to the country. That, those are all appeals. What should follow is let there be some methodology economically, physically, to ensure that you, you give the people, especially young people who have no jobs, there's no future, there's no hope. That is more killing. That's what drives people in the opposite direction, to create mayhem everywhere. And once there is abject poverty in the land, people will remain angry. I feel for our people, and I will want him to translate what he has said, which is quite heartwarming, 
to translate it into giving to the people a lot of hope. If there is no hope, when you wake up in the morning, you don't even know where you are going to go. There's, you are not running for any job. You are not doing anything. You to get a meal in a day was hell. People will resort in different directions. So I, I accept what he has done. I am going to advise that he should translate very sensible statement, translate it to meet the needs of Nigerians. Um, we've suddenly found ourselves uh, in this mess. And I, I, I listened to the gentleman who spoke before you called him an economist. Uh, economists, they are not exact scientists. You know, if it had been in my own profession, engineering, you would define, you would redesign and say between plus and minus this, whatever you think for stability, it will be there. But it's very difficult in economics. And like uh, one of my old school teachers used to say, that you can hardly find a man with a single hand in economics. They will say on one hand it is this, on another hand it is that. So I will plead, you have told us to, be, to remain calm, you are fixing it, we are all watching, we will continue to pray, reduce the tension in the land. This insecurity is a major issue that this nation must face. I want to plead, there is no way the system of governance, that constitution we are running, can resolve the problems of this nation. It can't take the security part of it. What is the total population of the uh, federal police? How can they effectively manage communities? It's impossible. So, the need to revisit the constitution and approach the, the, the seriousness of having to establish state police in each state that will complement the national police. We're not asking for too much because the local police will be able to manage every community. They will speak their language, they know their culture, they know the norms, they know who lives in house A or house B. And so you can effectively give and guarantee those people safety of their lives and properties. So it, it, it is not just to talk. That constitution is also a major drawback. Imagine Lagos State. The, the, the largest populated state in this country, electorally, it is the largest electoral state in this country. We have only 20 local governments. Ogu State, that is next door, they are not comparable with the population and the people and the, they also have 20 local governments. Is that justifiable? And Kanu, which is the next largest city in a uh, state in Nigeria, has 44 local governments. Then Jigawa that was created from Kano also has 24, 26 local governments. And every month they all head to Abuja. Local government draws money from the federation account. So where is justice? Mm. Where is fairness? To Let God. the people. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask, I know you are, it, it, you are, you are not the fairest of critic of Bola Tinubu. Uh, and uh, yes. let me ask you, uh, you, you heard what the chief uh, mm. the economist said earlier, that it looks like we are having yeah. some steps in the right direction in terms of the economy. Do you think that the president is making some policies that is leading Nigeria into the right direction? You know, like I said to you, you know, economy or economists, it, it's not an exact science. It is not a science, you know? Or like in engineering, when you make a design, you say between certain limits, this will happen. 
they cannot be affirmative in the issue of the economy. So it will take time before we feel all these new policies they are talking about. Uh, it's not something you can do in a day. But as long as we, are, we have examined the methodologies in the past that led us into hell, and they are now revisiting them, looking at the various indices and seeing how much they can do, I will plead also. Let's wait. Let's wait and see what they are doing. You know, my if I'm rounding up in a short sentence of what the, uh, the president said, he's asking people, trust me, we will get it. And now we suggested he should have an economic team. He now has, has uh, the economic team that he's looking for. So we will wait and see, because some of those people in the economic team belong to the old past themselves. They were part of the people who, 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 who drove us in the wrong direction. So I pray that God Almighty, on this very special day in Christendom, will hear our prayers and let it go straight into the heart of those who are managing us, that there is need to be honest with Nigerians, there is need to, to make sure that we, they, they themselves will see if you are putting in a very positive approach to problem solving. So I, I wish us all the best of luck. Uh, it is still theoretical. They are doing this today, they are doing that tomorrow. There are other external forces that will still affect this that were not mentioned. But whatever it is, uh, I, I, I am also asking the other Nigerians, let us be calm. Let us see the direction in which this thing will go. Take us from the doldrums of hell and be honest and truthful to Nigerians. Because, you know, there is this story, uh, um, uh, the, 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 the oil uh, sector have been shrouded in some kind of security or the other. All of a sudden, you, you know, what happened to our crude oil? Why are we importing crude oil for to service uh, Aliko's uh, 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 refinery? There are these things that I don't understand. But for whatever it is, they have accepted that they must resolve this crisis. They, let's give them time. All right. you, know, uh, you know, very soon it will be one year. And I join them to say, Agbara Kigba, Adura Lumba. So we'll see. All right. Literally, you, you say, literally, you mean power does not happen, prayer happens, no. uh, literally, if I get it. But let me take you into the it's politics. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let me take you into mm. the politics of the yeah. PDP. Uh, before I go to the national mm. level, it does look like things are mm. not really looking well in Lagos State, where you are a leader uh, in the state. And mm. uh, there was a press conference. Mm. I I'd like you to listen to what... Uh, uh, a former senatorial mm. candidate, uh, uh, Mr. Adewale, uh, he said in that press conference in Lagos, and was making some direct uh, inference to you and uh, what really happened in the state. Take a listen to him, Chief Judge. We went to the party at the national level last April, laying our complaint and seeking an explanation as to why they collected our money made us to waste our time and resources and only for them to ask the people not to vote for us but we never got any response from them till date as we speak nobody from the party has deemed it fit to call us either for explanation or even sympathize with our plight on our loss even though it was engineered by the actors of the party as insensitive as this set of leaders are they have not shown any remorse. Their position was also corroborated by the LGA Chairman Forum, who confirmed that they received orders from above to work against us and the party in the last general election. We have therefore instituted a suit for, for a suit first to the court to compare the party to expel all the actors who openly work against us. All right then. 
So you heard, uh, Chief Judge, you heard what uh, Errol and uh, Mr. Adewale said there. How do you react to some of these things? Uh, some of them are weighty. You know, uh, let me tell you, I'm almost, almost 80 years old, been in these parties since its inception. What that young man was saying is a load of crap. And it is an infra dignity at him for me to respond to the, the insanity he is exhibiting there. He was talking absolute nonsense. Who went to Abuja to do what in Abuja? Who he contested? I even assisted him when they were doing the primaries. The young man who wanted to compete against him is from Baragri Division, from Baragri Local Government. I, I appealed to that young man that let's have less fight during primaries so that the election can be smooth. The young man Ogunbe is his name. He accepted. It was an appeal to him. And this guy got the ticket. He's talking about uh, elders. May he, I, I don't want to curse him, but I, I, I regard it as, uh, uh, you know, you meet all kinds of characters in politics. If he was, when I was in the military, <laughs> I know what I would do to him. He's talking arrant rubbish. Who went to Abuja to collect money from who? He's talking trash. And this is why we had said that the party, we must get the party, <coughs> excuse me, back to what, it, what the founding fathers established it to achieve. These kind of clowns cannot be part of the, the real owners and managers of the party. When did he join us? What has he done before? There was a time he ran from Lagos again, ran to his state in Ekiti. We wanted to contest a uh, election, governorship election there. He came and told me, sir, I'm going there. I said, I wish you the best of luck. At the end, when he was beating uh, Silly, he rushed back to Lagos. You know, so, so these are not, these are issues that we, we, the party haven't experienced the, the lackluster approach but, but, to but the to yeah. the last election. He's not the only one yes. that is aggrieved in Lagos. Uh, the no, governorship no, candidate of the PDP is. in Lagos is also aggrieved. Ah. And he's also been speaking. Oh. So, so, that young man, yeah, who whom you call the, the gubernatorial candidate. I, I listened, I heard what he said. Drawing me to talk at their level is an insult. What does he know about PDP? I am a life board of trustee member. And you know what a trustee is in any organization. Legally, we own and manage the assets of the party on behalf of the people. So what he is talking about, he got the ticket, went to Abuja, how they manage it. You see, there was a major, major mistake made during the procedure of uh, the planning for the national election. But I will not sit down in the public and open the, 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 the field they brought. I remember the last time I, I, when I listened to the way they were doing these things, I walked out of the meeting because I knew it was going to take us to the doldrums of hell. Look, the founding fathers of our party haven't realized that there is this issue of majority tribes and minority tribes that had plagued this country since 1959, the first time we had an election. And they then came up with a, a, a procedure 
that was brilliant. Now, they divided Nigeria into six geopolitical zones and had the six top positions in the country. The president, number one, the vice president, number two, the Senate president, number three, the speaker, the, the speaker of the National Assembly, number four, the secretary to the government, and the national chairman of the party. Six positions, six zones. Section 7, subsection 3C of our Constitution stated very emphatically and clearly that there must be rotation and zoning of all these positions. You know, what, did, what happened? What happened the last time? General Buhari, who, who was president, spent eight years is he from Lagos State or is he from Calabar? He is from Castilla. So he had finished his own term. A northerner had done it. The most sensible thing for our party was to ensure that this position is rezoned, rezoned to the south. And that was where there was this break in communication. That is why we would have sat down rather than somebody thinking, we, I have it all. If Chief, you don't like it, yeah. get out. Chief Judge, the, yeah. the, the, the people, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, I, I like the, us the, to this young man you are talking yeah. about, yeah. I, don't want to, I don't want to talk about him because he, he, he's an ingrate. It is, it is uh, uh, like I said, it's an infradignitatum. For me to sit and be explaining, the party has a procedure. And we will go through that procedure. All right. Chief Judge, yeah. Let me, yeah. We are sure in our minds yeah. that are here like a mole, we will sort them out. You know, it, 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 it's, an, it's an insult. Chief Judge, to let, be us, telling let us anchor. The landlord to leave his house. Yeah. Let, let, let's anchor on this. Huh? I, I'm, I'm being told I have about 35 or 40 yeah. seconds. But now there is a justice for oh, the uh, national chairmanship uh, seat of the PDP. What do you make yeah. of that? Mm, and mm. how do you think the party can handle that? You know, you see, the man who was the chairman left in some circumstances. That's how you. And so, somebody must replace it. Temporarily, the chairman, uh, the vice, deputy national chairman not took that position. And he's been trying to reorganize, to make sure... Uh, we, 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 we will amend, we will resort to normalcy. He's trying with his team. But then the North Central eh, zone is saying, yes, that was the position given to us. We are not dead and we are not out of the party. So if one goes, the replacement must also come from that same state. That can be handled. But it shouldn't be handled in a manner that it will further divide the party. All right. I get, I get really angry when I see people struggling dangerously for positions. They, right. they, look, apart from visiting the constitution of the nation, we ourselves must calm down and manage the resources of this country for the betterment of our people. Yeah. That should not create a All hell right. of a problem. All right. The Benue people, they must meet. Let them nominate one person All right. Chief from God. there, yeah. and he can take it off. Because he has a hell of a lot of sorting out to do at the national. Chief Olabode Judge is a member of mm. the Board of mm. Trustees of the People's Democratic Party. Well, thank you so much indeed for your time mm. tonight and sharing your thoughts on this Good Friday. Thank you so much indeed. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, you. Thank you I so wish much. you all the very best. Happy Sun uh, Easter Sunday too. Thank you so much. And may the blessing of God be all on, on, on all of us in Nigeria. Amen. And guide us. And the by Darun Lineno, Yabuka Ibo Media. I see when I would take a little bit of the other camper. The guy is a cool and the guy is now, Bambo, I will eat in a new no update. We hear about stomach if any men are unable by 
and the world over in Canazo. Oh, yeah, bunko I put on a night and name is here. I was at the key be a bow. You watch a ya kita in the Niva Kobia from Prime Minister. Go get Zoku, no dinkeggy. Man to cut a morgue. Carly will detail I near. Makoki Yaganes name is he. Would a bear a put an undy boy on? Would a bass lion on? But a babblous net president, a babblous vice president, nothing, nothing. And the new moon didn't even make a square no. Umu na eso kona abo bo famba. Makuwa kivi a jeme gete zi adurazi asi morgini ne mezi ode kahalo. Aru acho zidi me ayi. Me godi me kobo do zidi. Ki me le zidi de. One night, walk a boom as in the canon and borrow. I come a candibo. Can you your joy mill? My cousin and you bogadi, my cousin, I gadi, I got the kitchen, each other, guago. I will use a jiggy dear, Joe Gaudra. Can you get jiggy the mazin and the canon? I come across any boy, Addy. Because they give a jetty if I bow, you won't be dear. I ask no buy, oh no buy, I ask. So be cobbin a dan weebo, you will win again. Oh no buy, I jack over your name, ever. Kago kwa ni yaini kubi fao. Une uko ni iwe. Kifo nye ndu melo. Kwa sini yaini mbombi mbundi ibo. Habia na alo. Une ibutia. Simon epa pinia. Aya boba ya mba. Kemi lo bidenti movement. Ako ulo kuma asini nande kanu kuru. Before emu before jidea. They will never give you that president. That seat. Ako dolu na yano. No pito biwi nile. Mane nyeri ya ya. Gini kwa nsi ya bo. Mba. Ibo mwana ni ife. Mako wakia isine kuzi oku. Waki ife gane isine mezi. Opa ni bolo wogi mitin. Chuko wogo ono. Juo woga ojua. Kebe yuko. Noboda abu na njidea. Ajun choko nyobu na bunyi bwone ege monti. Nidu wakukwa. Juo ya. Ani jicho wogi ya bife. Isaya. Opa na kwa mnono. Iya 